He would have loved to have gone to France with the British, with the air component attached to the British Expeditionary Force, but he had terrible pulmonary problems, and as you say, he failed his medical, so he couldn't go there, and he had to wait uh, for things to be shot down over British territory, and created this lovely uh, series of image of watercolours of shot down German aircraft. Uh, sort of in Windsor Great Park and shot down in various areas in, in and around London. And they are some of the classics now of war art, though ironically the RAF representative on the War Artists Advisory Committee, because each fighting service had a representative, who was a formidable character called Wing Commander, later Air Commodore Harald Peak, had always insisted that they have two artists, and one of them was to be a portraitist, dedicated portraitist, and the other one was to be good at the drawing and painting the machinery that the RAF was operating in a convincing fashion. Uh, even shot down German aircraft were not convincing in his mind. So even though Clark was very keen to hang, to hang on to Paul Nash as a war artist and possibly keep him working on the on, with the RAF, when his... Um, uh, contract because he was on a short term contract came up for renewal in I think mid October 1940. Uh, the RAF said, or Peak said, no, we don't want him, we want somebody else. And he was, you know, he was um, reassured by his opinion when he saw the Sutherland flying boat that Nash later painted in 41. Uh, called, I think, the Defence of Albion, because he said it was got the wrong fin and the wrong, you know, front turret area was inaccurate and had been distorted for artistic reasons. But the, the you know, Peak and the RAF uh, bigwigs did not appreciate that at all. They didn't like that. There was only so far you could go with artistic uh, license, and so uh, Nash was. Uh, had to kick his heels for a couple of months and then was employed directly as a war artist by the committee, which was quite, uh, you know, unique. It was, and it was purely down to Nash, uh, to uh, Nash's friendship with, with Clark, because Clark had, had been a great fan of Nash's work from at least the mid-30s and had started to collect examples of it. So he was going out of, on a limb, really, to help one of his sort of favourite artists.